All right, Biggie, we're uh, we're waiting for our boy Bola to actually show up uh, yeah. for his uh, his official uh, Be Built by Broser return to the screen on JTV. And yeah, he's currently thirty minutes late. But, yeah. You know, so counting? so we just had a little bet between you guys to see if he was gonna arrive during or after the interview. So we'll film. We'll film oh, whichever case breaking, that is. Breaking news. Oh no, uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> wait, breaking but news. This could be the side back there. Uh oh, parking. Oh, oh you just lost. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna text him back. Stay in your car. <laughs> it's okay. We just wanted to catch up real quick with uh, Mark and Rashad, who, who just uh, not just, but just we had on camera right before the USA. Yep. Did very well over there, you guys. How was the experience? It was great. Um, stack classes all around, You're honestly, right? and it was probably one of my best USA experiences with a tough lineup. And not only that, bringing the best package, as you mentioned to me on the yeah, last that was, show, that was obvious. And yeah. it was obvious. Uh, and then I like I went up against a phenomenal group of top other top four contenders in my class, and I couldn't be more excited to be up against that type of class. So, what did you finish? I finished uh, fifth place. Boom, so top five at USA. Awesome. Got that first call yes. number and then just battle it out for the top That's a five. win right there, man. That first call out. That was a huge right? win from yeah. two years ago. Absolutely. Rashad, how did it go for you, man? It went well for me. Um, my first national show. I yeah, Mark did it last year for the first time, so it was your first one. My first one. First was, how was that in, uh, as far as like uh, nerves and like uh, anxiety? Was it different than the amateur? It than was, the uh, it was, it was, local? It was more pressure than a regional show. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's, real pressure like you see as many more competitors everybody look good at this show yeah mm -hmm. there's not one person you look at just look at him and say oh you don't like everybody look good they brought their best did you feel out of place like did you feel like what i do it's, was no. it like different or no no different not because you weren't looking good enough, but it's just such a bigger stage a bigger event a bigger like it's like going to the olympia the first time you know what i mean like mm -hmm. the equivalent kind of was it uh did you have friends helping you backstage and all that stuff or how yes. was it yeah I have a lot of us from this uh, gym actually was all there together. Like yeah, seven of us. So we was all, including Mark. You yeah, know, we was all there supporting each other, pushing each other, helping each other. Okay, you good. You know, guiding each other. So, so that must have helped. That helps a whole lot. Yeah, you know, that helps a whole lot. You know, and next time when you go back, then I'm sure someone will go for the first time, and you'll be the one helping them to out, help that, getting the jitters, get, get and get that yeah. same energy to another competitor yeah. as well. That's yes. awesome. What did you finish at? Um, I finished at eighth. Okay, so top ten, man. First you know, time. Top ten, first call out. Yeah, um, man. I'm surprised I was shocked because it was 24 competitors. Holy crap. Yeah, that was so a lot. So you're fishing in the, th in the top third. That's awesome. Yeah, awesome. It's not, no, no. I'm happy with it. That's awesome. Happy with the whole experience. I can't complain. Mm -hmm. All right. E, you must be proud of those two, right? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so proud. You know, it was so exciting. For me, <clears throat> you know, we were talking about going pro and this and that, but really for me, I wanted to see them both uh, make that first call out, and they both did make the first call That's out. That's a win, dude. You know, Mark had about 20 guys in his class, first call out, Rashad like, had 24 guys in his class, and these guys were so super uh, close to each other, like I think even the, the guy who plays fourth ahead of Mark, Mark was one point differential, wow. uh, eighth, seventh was one point dif differential for Rashad, uh, and really any one of those guys looked like they could have been battling out for the top three, so it was just, it was stacked, but yeah. mm -hmm. I am extremely happy because number one, they both hit the best conditions of their lives. Mm -hmm. They both, you know, now are going to be recognized as top NPC competitors. Mm -hmm. And so now in 2021, they go from... They're on the map now. now they're on yeah. the map. So now they go from like, okay, we made first call out, to now they can really focus on... Battle for the top possibly win yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we know what changes need to be made. We know what we need to do. Uh, I wouldn't have done anything different for the last show because they were both peaked perfectly. They just need more time. Amazing. More time, so, more, just more, more progress. Time. You know, yeah. Not everybody goes pro the first time that no. they go into the USA. We know guys have been doing it for years. So yeah. I am extremely happy, extremely proud of both of them. Uh, Mark is already completely... Back, like I, 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 he took like a couple of days off. He's like, all right, I'm ready to go, coach. Yeah. Uh, Rashad wanted to take a little bit more time, but he's going to jump back on soon, 100%. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we're going to map out everything for 2021 and yes, uh, sure. kill it. Go to and, kill. and you weren't there also, which which uh, I know when you compete is important. It's easier when you have your coach there to look at you all the time. So that was also, uh, <laughs> not to say they could have been better, but I'm just saying, if you, I know that I've done a show, one show where you weren't there in Boston. And it was a lot tougher for me to actually go on stage mm -hmm. feeling confident because you don't have your coach there to watch you or True. change the meal as you go. So the fact yeah. that they looked as good as they did without you being there, Hopefully next year when they go back, it's back in Vegas, so you can go, and I think it'll be even better. Yeah, I'll go. No, I don't care where it is. I'll go next year as long as the world's back. What if they go to Florida? So, um, <laughs> I'll go to Florida. Oh, I got you on tape saying that. That's it. My parents are. <laughs> well. Now I want to be. I hated not being there with them, but of course I made myself. As you were moving as also. Possible. I think that weekend. I was moving. Yeah, yeah uh, mm -hmm. locations. 
uh, but they know that they can call me, text mm-hmm. me at literally anytime. It's something the not the night, same, though. Matter. I know it's not the to same. To have you but, as a presence there, it's calm. But you know what I was glad about? It wasn't like they were there alone. They had each other. Yes, they true. had other people, so they yes. had a support system. Yes. Mm-hmm. Again, we had two other guys from the team in the show. Yes. Mm-hmm. So they were able to support each other, which is really meant everything Especially to me. Especially for Rashad, because that was his first time. Yeah. And I can't just imagine how nervous you'd be. Such a big yeah, show for the I first mean, time. Mark it, did it, it last year, so you kind of had an idea what to expect. Nerve. It felt like my first show. Right. That's what I was asking mm-hmm. you. You know what I mean? It's that a big pressure. deal, dude. It's a big it, deal. It, yeah. Like, I was uh, that's what I meant. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like I'm glad. Yeah. yeah. Now, a huge stage. I mean, the USA. I mean, that was. It's a big it's a, show. It's a big show. Yeah. I mean, you win that. The best champions in the country are there to compete for pro cards. Yeah. That's why Rashad said every. It's not like you go into a show and like a few guys look good. Off. Yeah. Everybody looks good. Everybody looks amazing because they're all champions. So. I'm extremely happy. I hope they are happy. Um, I know that uh, getting into the first call out was a really big deal for both of them. And that um, was the first time they called out, I was shot. At I know. Day. I was like, yeah. hey. Hey. My, my experience is the 2018 US Series, I got uh, seven call outs. I placed under the top 15. Then I did the Amateur Olympia. I got last call outs. You remember that? Mm. And I was doing both crossovers, class physique and uh, bodybuilding. But this time around, we focus on just that one. Yeah, class. you can't do that no more. And yeah. No, I, I officially am done with bodybuilding. I am sticking with class physique. Yeah. That is my it's your class, my route, yeah. and it is my official class. Yeah. So sticking with that mindset and that training. Got it. But you went out, but you mm-hmm. went out this year with a win in bodybuilding, so that's yeah. a good way to like call yeah, yeah. the shot. I'll, I'll, I'll for real. You're officially retired for retiring. that class. Like, yeah. All right, I want. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done all right. well, guys, c- congratulations! Thanks for uh, giving us the status because I'm sure people wanted to know what happened with you guys. Congratulations on both making top five, top eight at the USA yes. in 2020, and uh, it's all going to go up from there. And look who just showed up. <laughs> During the filming. Hey, <laughs> Bola. What's going on, man? How are you? Ever, man. Good to see you, buddy. You good? Big hug. Happy, right. Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year. Thanks for driving all the way from San Diego to be with us today. Oh, thank you. We hey. appreciate it. Uh, anytime. How long has it been? How long has it been since we filmed? It's been about... A few years. Two years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And you look big. You look good. All, all right. right. Are you excited? Study the off season now. Yeah. Are, so, are you excited? I'm excited. We're well, glad that to have you back. Eric right? and you and yeah, uh, it's like fun. the good old days. Yes. Well, thanks for making days. the drive. We're gonna train today. What are we training today? Uh, we're doing chest today. Okay, so we're gonna yes. do chest today, and we'll talk with Eric afterwards. Yes. All right. Good to see you, man. Thank you, sir. Okay, so the first exercise that we're doing is the Smith incline press. We're gonna use a few different techniques here. On uh, the first set, what we're gonna be doing is what I call negative pause reps or eccentric pause reps. So what Bola is doing is he's actually going to lower the weight under control. He's going to lower just about halfway down. He's going to hold that position for a full three seconds. He's going to keep the chest tense during the full three seconds. Then he's going to lower under control to the chest and push to the top. So that will complete one rep. So again, on every single rep, he lowers under control, holds for three seconds. And when you hold that for three seconds, you want to make sure that you're keeping the chest tight because that's what we're trying to hit. Then again, lower control to the bottom and push to the top. This is a great technique for making the chest sore and building some new growth. Okay, so on the second set of Smith Incline, what I wanted to do is reverse the process and now do positive pause reps or uh, concentric pause reps. Uh, So what Bola will be doing is he'll be lowering under control down to the chest, and now he'll be pushing the bar up only halfway. So when he pushes up halfway, he's going to hold that position for three seconds. And again, I want to emphasize that he's trying to hold with the chest. He's keeping the chest tense to hold the bar in place. And then using chest power, he's going to push to the top. So again, slow, controlled rep down to the bottom. Then he's going to push up halfway. Hold that for three seconds while keeping the chest tense and then push to the top using the chest only during this portion of the rep. Again, another great technique for chest. Okay, so for the third set of Smith Incline, uh, we're going to do something called uh, 555, uh, which is similar to sevens, which a lot of people know that technique. So basically what we're going to do is for the first five repetitions, Bola is going to push the weight from the chest to the halfway point. Again, he's not rushing these reps. They're under control using the chest. So he's going to do five reps from, again, from the bottom of the chest, halfway up. Then he's going to go from the halfway point, the midway point of the repetition, and push to the top. 
again, is going to be using as much chest power as possible, thinking about contracting the chest hard from the midpoint to the top. And then we finish the set with five full reps. And again, if you can get more than five reps, that's fine. If you get 10 reps, it's not solid solidified, it's five. But he managed, I think, three reps and then two reps with me helping him out. A very, very tough te technique for the chest. Okay, for the second set of exercises for this chest workout, we're going to do a superset. It's gonna be incline flies and flat dumbbell presses. Now on the incline flies, we're gonna use a special technique where we're going to actually hold the stretch position at the bottom for a full four seconds. And what I encourage Bola to do, or anybody who uses this technique to do, is to try to push the rib cage up high at the top, which will help to increase the stretch. You wanna feel that stretch all the way from the sternum all the way into the armpits and really pull that chest apart. So again, he holds that stretch for a full four seconds, and then under, under control, he lifts the weight to the top in a fly motion. And that's what you wanna do on every single rep. Once you reach failure or, the, or near the failure point with the first exercise, we drop the bench down to flat. And in this case, we're gonna use the same dumbbells. A lot of people tend to grab heavier dumbbells, but the same dumbbells will usually work because your chest is pretty exhausted. We're gonna do flat dumbbell presses. We're not gonna stop or pause anywhere in the rep. We're just gonna use good technique, controlled on the way down, control on the way up, full range of motion. And we're gonna get as many reps as we can to failure. This is an excellent superset, a great way to put a tremendous pump in the chest. Okay, so the first two exercises, we used a press. We used a fly, which opened up the chest, and now I want to use a technique to really squeeze and contract the chest hard. So we're gonna use a basic fly machine. Uh, the technique that I want to use on this exercise, first of all, let me talk about elbow position. I want uh, Bola to keep his elbows up high because uh, we're looking to hit right on the top of the chest, and if he dropped his elbows down, you'd start to involve more shoulders and the lower portion of the chest. So his elbows up high. What we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze the middle of the rep and we're gonna contract for a full four seconds. And when he gets to the contracted position, I'm telling him to try to push his palms together as hard as he can or hyper contract. So he's not just holding the weight in place, he's really trying to squeeze the pecs as hard as he can, like as if he was doing a most muscular pose. So he holds that position for four seconds, and then he's under control to a full stretch, back to the middle, again, holding for four seconds. So now the contracted position has worked extra hard, giving you, again, an incredible pump in the chest. Okay, so for the next exercise, we stayed on the same machine, and actually between sets, we were discussing the movement, and we wanted to see if he can get a little bit better squeeze than where the machine limited us to, so I decided to give him one arm at a time, and as you can see, he's able to cross uh, his hand over his chest and get an extra hard contraction. Uh, this way the machine isn't limiting him, limiting him in the motion at all. So again, he's holding that position for a full four seconds and getting an extra hard squeeze. Try him with two arms one time and then try him with one arm which way you like better. Both excellent techniques and ways to go to build the chest. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna finish up this workout like I often like to do when I use a lot of techniques that tend to really tear down the muscle fibers, uh, where we're using eccentric reps, uh, slow uh, eccentrics, using a stretch technique, contraction technique. Uh, I like to finish sometimes with a movement that gets a lot of blood in the muscle. So I usually pick a machine, not always, but this time we're picking a machine, a seated press machine, and we're gonna do uh, 25 to 30 reps to failure. We're not gonna stop or pause anywhere in the rep. We wanna kinda move them like a piston, but always under control, not throwing the weight. I still want them to feel the stretch and contraction. But again, the goal is to get between 25 and 30 reps, or even more uh, if you can, uh, but at least 25 to 30 to pump as much muscle, as much, as much blood and oxygen uh, and nutrients into the muscle. This way we can begin the recovery process early in the chest workout. All right, back at Dave Fisher's powerhouse. We just uh, finished a good uh, chest workout with Bola and E. It was nice to have you guys back together. Uh, it was fun for me to film. and It brought me back a couple of years. <laughs> it, was, yeah, it was nice. It's been at least a couple of years since we filmed together. I know. Right? I was asking him. Yeah, it's been two, years. two years. Bola, we now. wanted to check back with you a little bit because so much has happened in the in this past year uh, for everyone. Uh, and obviously, it doesn't look like you skipped a beat. So luckily, Eric catches you as a, as a good starting point, right? Do we know... Do we know what the plan is for 2021? Have you picked a show yet or not yet? Uh, not picked a show yet. Not we yet. did a show, I think, in early November, late October. What was the show? It was the Masters World Championship Pro. Okay. The Reno show. You won? Yes. So you won over 30, 35? Over 35. I was over 40 then. Okay. I, I did the overall and won that one. Wow. Congratulations. And money and, uh, but no qualification for the Olympia. Okay. Show. So I have to re-qualify. Okay. All right, so 
How was uh, you living now in San Diego? Right, it's hard to keep tabs on you because for a while you were in Arizona, you were in LA, you were in San Diego. I can't. I was telling Eric, I never know where he's at. <laughs> yeah, I've been in San Diego since okay. uh, 2015. Okay, okay. So yeah. you've been there for a while. Yes. Okay, you like it there? Yeah, I love it. You train at the gym. The gym, uh, from a Walls gym. Yep. Yeah, it's an awesome gym. A lot of champions there. Love a lot it. of good bodybuilders. Yes. That's uh, that's awesome. So, Eric used to train there with Nasser. We yep. covered that in the past yep. video. <laughs> that awesome. was world Nasser. That's right. Yeah, but but it was it was gold back then. Actually, yeah, you're right. Gold, yeah, then world. The yeah. Uh, yeah. Nasser, Milos, Victor Richards, Paul Jean Guillaume, Mr. Big, Jim yeah. Quinn, Dave Fisher. Yeah, Dave Fisher, uh, Jim, Jim Quinn. Quinn sometimes uh, Richard Jones. I don't think I saw him there. I think he was a little bit after I left. But a lot was, of champions that, a lot crawling of champions with champions. And a, and yeah, hardcore. Oh, it was like the mecca. Of, of, the, of the south, of yeah, south. yeah, Southern California. So you're in a good spot. It's it's good to train there. It's uh, the, the owners are awesome too oh, over there. Rick and uh, Brad, yes, awesome. Uh, you have some new champions. Obviously, we have Sergio there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of men's physique. Eddie, a lot of classic guys. Danny Yuen. Danny Yuen. I yeah. like him. Yeah, very and nice. Eddie, Eddie Mo. Yeah, uh, Eddie. Of physique. course. Yeah, he's good. Very cool. All right, so so. Um, you uh, you did well last year towards the end of the year, and now what is the plan for the? Did you do two twelve or did you do open? I did the two twelve. Okay, yeah. you always flip between the two classes also, and you do well in both. So I was, what do you want to do this year? What's the plan? Um, the ultimate plan is the open. Okay, but I definitely want to win something major in the two twelve first. Okay. So uh, obviously, last year, even though I won the show, the honest truth is I never really trained or dieted. I just went. Oh, this guy. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. had like nine leg sessions throughout the COVID year till November. Okay. So, um, but I still happened to win. So I want to put everything together. And uh, thank God in a month I've not missed a meal. And uh, <laughs> like, remember the last time? When did you guys reconnect, uh, Bola? Uh, we were talking. We talked briefly before Gold's gym closed, and then March, and then okay. later this year, you had messaged me again, and we talked yes. about getting you back on the show. Okay, and then it took a little while for us to get it together, but so uh, much happened. He's yeah. always said yeah. to me, "He's like Eric, I need to reconnect with you. I need to talk to you." And yeah, to, you yes. know. So we finally got that done today. Good. Yes. Okay. Good. Over so, there, um, when I'm in, because Chris beat the real deal. He moved he, to San Diego. I heard that. So, um, so he trained Brion. Obviously, he's been yes. training Brion. So. I joined them for the Olympia prep. Oh, nice! A few sessions and uh, you know, so sometimes we train together. It's okay. Awesome. And uh, I'm looking to come here once a week at least to train all year round with Eric. Okay. Uh, yeah, Chris is great. The, awesome. Yes. Yeah, it's awesome. Right. Yes, yeah, so what? Uh, two, two and a half, two hour, two hour drive, two and a um, half hours. It's about two. It was about two hours today. Not bad. Not it's bad. funny because we both live it. on opposite ends now. Yes, so you, you both have to drive two hours. Two hours north. Of wow. This. Yeah. So we both end up meeting in the middle. That, <laughs> and how often do you drive? I've only every drive, two weeks. Every two yeah. weeks, I've been filming with Dave. That's some full time shit right there. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> full, full time bodybuilding. Body body <laughs> I had uh, <laughs> Sean Roden drove uh, two hours, two and a half hours. Yes, every, every day. day when he was living up north. Yeah. To, uh, for the Olympia, that's yes. when he won the Olympia. That's yeah. real dedication. That's some full time <laughs> stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all right. So, how was the workout today, Bola? What? Uh, how was it? Because I know, and I'm glad that you've been training with Chris. Because I know Chris has his own way of training as well. Yes. And so, how was the the session today? Um, it was incredible. It's uh, a different. He added some new techniques I've never used before, and I could tell that I'm not used to it because I was getting like. So much, so pump. I couldn't really move. <laughs> too much pump. <laughs> too much pump. You know, pause. Is that is that a thing? Yeah. Too so pumped. Okay. Over pumped. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And yeah, so I think it helps me because um, Eric knows I got a few injuries, and I train around them, and this kind of training really helps me. And uh, the techniques, the new techniques, I just have to get used to that burn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. He, I was. Uh, how was it to reconnect with Bola today? I mean, I've, I've trained Bola several times in the past. He's always loved the training techniques. Um, you know, like you said, he has some injuries. Um, and another thing that we discuss is, and I, I say this over and over again, is that when people have been training for many, many years, uh, they need to uh, focus on some new techniques and new ways to hit the muscle that the 
the muscles themselves and the central nervous system are not used to. You can't do the same things over and over again, expect to keep getting results. And especially with heavy weights, you get the injuries and the joint problems, and then uh, you don't really even feel the movements anymore. So um, I introduced some new techniques for him. Um, pause reps uh, was one of them that we did in the, on the Smith machine. Uh, and I just wanted to show him the amount of intensity that we can create without pushing as much heavy weight. Uh, and, you know, and, and it just works. So, I mean, I know that this kind of training is great for, um, it's great for anyone, but it's especially great for people who've been not, who's been training for a very long period of time and or have some, their body's going to be banged up. I mean, we're all, wear and tear. Even if you didn't have an acute injury, like where you hurt yourself in the gym, it's just like an engine, you know, the engine wear and tear on an engine yeah. is eventually going to catch up to the engine. Uh, so you get things in your shoulders, you get usually the knees and joints, wrists, whatever. Um, he has some stuff in the shoulders. So these techniques allow you to train even harder with more focus. And as you heard, he got a pump, what he call, we're calling an over pump. He got so pumped from these techniques that he was having trouble moving around, you know, a little bit. So you do some self therapy. Yeah, he was doing <laughs> in some self therapy, he was stretching and this yeah. and that. So it's a good thing. Uh, so these techniques will allow you to be able to. You know, if you ever think you've matched your genetic potential, you can't get any further, this is going to get you past where you're at. Uh, and I believe these are the type of techniques that Bola will need to um, push him from where he's winning the Masters overall title to where he's now winning an open title or against, you know, every every age, every age group. Because, you know, if you know the sport... Yeah, I don't play... You know, you know, the, you know the sport, a lot of times the guys don't even hit their stride until they're 40, 40. Five, especially eight. right now, yeah. Especially right now, you see that a lot. So Bola is still in that range where I think that he's going to show. He up belongs on the Olympia team. stage. He's got to get there. He's got to be on the Olympia stage. And, and the last time that we had worked together um, for a show, I mean, if you go back and you look at some of an old B built by Bros where we were at Gold's Gym, he was uh, he was like 230 pounds, ripped to the bone. And that's why I'm asking him who and what class he's going to do because I have a hard time seeing him today because he's in fairly good shape in his off season you know is he going to be able to squeeze down to 212 it's a lot of yeah i, I mean i think he's built for the i think he's built for the open i think so too um i think he's going you know, to squeeze him down to 212 you'll It'll have to sacrifice tough. muscle yeah. um but we'll see what happens i mean i don't you know we haven't really talked about it but we'll see what he wants to do no more eating two three meals a day yeah life. i mean the last time <laughs> we went from eating six meals a day and he had to drop down to two or three meals a day right before the show he still placed well he placed sixth in the open class. So that tells you he could have been a lot, a lot better. And he could have been even higher than that because yeah. he, a few weeks before the show he was even better. But, yeah, yeah. you know, something happened where, I don't know, he just stopped eating. But, uh, <laughs> Not good for bodybuilding. let that yeah. happen because yeah, he's, good, I think he's hungrier than ever now. He's more settled. Oh, yeah. More settled. He loves hungry. San Diego. He's, he's hungry and he wants to get on that Olympia stage. Nice. And, you know, any opportunity I have a chance to, to help him to get there. I love Bola. Hope I get to work with him. So. Yeah, he's still, you know, look at, uh, you know, the uh, 212 champion from last year, 49 years old, 48 uh, years old, won the on. Olympia. Yeah, come on. That's great. Unbelievable. So me. that's inspiring, you know. Yeah. It's awesome. Well, Bolam, we, uh, we are very grateful you made the trip all the way uh, up here to, uh, to film with us. We're going to uh, continue, um, hopefully, update the fans you know on sure. his return we don't know what show he's going to do now but i'm sure he'll be back on the we'll show talk, right we'll talk about it and then yeah. next time we come back on he'll probably announce how we're going to handle the yeah and the then year. maybe show the progress leading up to the next show and it'll be nice yeah, yeah. and uh i just want to say to all my supporters and i don't know fans you have them <laughs> um, i've said this a lot uh i'm now I'm, i'm going to do this and you know talk is cheap and i never really lived up to it um but i promise you guys 2021 I'm definitely dedicated when I say I missed a meal in a month that's the first time since 1994 <laughs> you know I'm a three two meal a day guy so I'm definitely gonna do it I know all the hard work you guys do and I admire all the athletes so I definitely want to do this for you guys all right this year. that's Love a it. promise we have it on camera now so yes. there you go it's on camera so it's, it's <laughs> loaded. sealed watch out I'm coming for you <laughs> <laughs> awesome all right thanks for coming you guys both of you Thank all right. you.